prepare to die. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will be counting down our picks for the top 10 tips on how to get started in Dark Souls. Considering the series' notorious difficulty, many potential players are a little nervous about diving into the franchise. Never fear though, we've compiled a list of helpful advice to encourage any player having trouble to stick things out, because underneath all that difficulty is a truly rewarding and unique gameplay experience. The Bell Tolls. Number 10. Get good! That's all it takes, noobs. List over! Just kidding. Seriously now. Number 10. Turn to the internet and the Souls community for help. Anyway, if you're new to this game, here are a few basic tips and tricks for people who don't know sh about this game. The Souls games are structured in such a way that everything in the game, from moves to stats and even the fundamental rules of the game, are vague and nebulous. Not only is it easy to get stuck, but figuring out the game's deeper mechanics and secrets is designed to be a group effort. Most obviously is the in-game mechanic of reading notes left by other players, or being able to see how other players died. Still, don't be afraid to turn to the internet for assistance. YouTube guides and fan wikis like Fextra Life can really help lighten the burden. Daggers have a quick step that functions with no focus at all. This is particularly handy when you're rolling through the swamp. The Soul series has a large community of passionate gamers who can teach you everything from basic tips to high-level strategies. Some weapons are worth using simply for their weapon art. Uh, for example, the Sunlight Straight Sword has a buff that you can apply even with a tiny bit of focus. Number 9. Unlearn what you know about typical RPGs. So, right off the bat, it really doesn't matter how many other RPGs you've played. Dark Souls games are a unique beast, and you can't just rely on using stats or high-level weapons to power through tougher spots. In Dark Souls, it's much more important to find a weapon that suits your playstyle, even if the stats aren't technically as good as the other gear you've come across. Leveling up is important for sure, but the Soul series is more interested in encouraging you to try new things and practice your actual skills at playing the game. Number 8. Beware the Fat Roll The Soul series lets you carry as much crap around as you want, but this is a little deceptive because what you equip on your character can really slow you down. Taking a more realistic approach to item management, the franchise has inserted another layer of challenge by having the player be aware of their equip load stat. The heavier your armor or the more weapons you are using brings up your equip load, and the slower you will run and regenerate stamina. Most notably, if you go past a certain percentage of equip load, which varies from game to game, you will end up with the dreaded fat roll. And uh, good luck surviving some of the tougher enemies when you're rolling around like the fat kid in gym class. Number 7. Learn when to target and circle strafe. This may seem like a no-brainer, but targeting, especially before you get good, is a very important mechanic to learn. In a game where a single missed swing can easily mean the difference between life and death, keeping a line of sight on your opponent is essential. Circle strafing, especially if you're using a shield, is also a great tip for success, as many enemies will have a tougher time hitting you if you're constantly circling around them. This is also important if you want to backstab your opponents, which is really good for dealing huge amounts of damage. For larger opponents, you might prefer to manually track them and control the camera, but smaller, more aggressive enemies are going to dodge your attacks and get around behind you, so targeting essentially becomes essential. This is especially true in PvP. Number 6. There are classes, but there are also no classes. When starting a new game, the player is greeted with the opportunity to fully customize the physical appearance and attributes of their character. The most difficult part of any RPG, besides picking your character name, is deciding what class you are going to spend the entire game as. While the Soul games technically present you with the same decision, the class you pick only affects your starting level, your starting stats, and what equipment you get. 
But as soon as you begin, every spell, weapon, and armor you can find can be used by any type of character, as long as you meet the stat requirement. Furthermore, there are no limits to combining elements from different classes, so throughout the game, you can build your character into anything you want. Number 5. Don't feel bad about using cheese. No, not actual cheese, although we won't stop you from enjoying a bite to eat while you're playing. Cheesing in a video game is another way of describing a cheap move or tactic to overcome an obstacle. However, in a game that frequently fights dirty and throws you curveballs, we only feel it's fair to fight fire with fire. If a boss is giving you too much trouble, don't feel bad about summoning a spirit to help you beat it into the ground. Too many enemies in an area, just find a safer path to go around them. And always, always keep some form of ranged attack on you. It will be very useful. You might not be showing off mad skills, but hey, the game is doing its absolute best to kill you as often as possible. It gets no sympathy from us. Number 4. Watch your stamina. Your stamina is tied to not only how far you can sprint, but almost every other combat related action you take. Every time you swing, block, roll, or cast a spell, you lose a bit of stamina. Lose it all and you won't be able to take an action, leaving you completely vulnerable. Mashing the attack or dodge button is a recipe for instant death and taking a more conservative pace to combat is usually the wiser course of action. Never get overconfident either, as sometimes landing that final blow to an enemy is a lot harder than it sounds, and a lot of players end up dead after they overextend themselves. Number 3. Explore, Explore, Explore The areas on display in Dark Souls are huge and have tons of little nooks and crannies everywhere. It's not just minor things you could be missing either, as unique equipment, spells, and even vendors and trainers are often very well hidden. Young undead, don't let this curse weigh upon you. Patience is a virtue, and sometimes backtracking before lighting the next bonfire is the best way to not miss out on key items. You will need every advantage you can get, and exploration pays off with everything from hidden checkpoints to shortcuts. The Soul series sports some of the best level design in the gaming industry today, and as challenging as the enemies are, finding everything within the games is by far the series' most daunting task. Number 2. Learn the stats and what they do. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. We've said that Dark Souls isn't a heavily stat-focused RPG when it comes to gear, but that's not to say that you can ignore these numbers either. Knowing what all those different stats and numbers do can really help improve your experience, and give you that extra edge you need for more difficult encounters. There is also more to this than it sounds, as it's often really, really unclear what specific stats actually do. For example, strength increases your damage with most weapons, but not all of them, and it has no impact on how much you can carry. The more you understand about what exactly each stat does, the more fine-tuned your character will become, and the better equipped you will be to deal with all that pain waiting around every corner. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few more helpful hints. Number 1. Dying is normal Get used to seeing this screen over and over again. 
Death in Dark Souls has consequences, but it doesn't mean it's something you need to fear. Ironically, the sooner you accept the fact that you're gonna die a lot, the more fun the overall experience becomes. Embrace death, laugh it off, and do your best to keep a cool head, because the more you fear death, the more likely you are to panic. Remember that this game may hate you, but in the long run, the player will come out on top. Treat each punishing and often humiliating death as a learning experience, and figure out what you can do better next time. Where have you gone? As frustrating and demoralizing as inevitable death may be, it makes victory all the more satisfying. Do you agree with our list? What tips would you offer to someone starting to play Dark Souls? For more insightful top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. Uh.